Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. Today we're going to talk to Rami, who is a top 500 Lucio player, and I thought now was a good opportunity to sit down with him, talk about the new Lucio changes that were on the PTR, the triple support meta, Brigitte, and see if Lucio needs a little bit more love. You can check out all of Rami's details in the description below, and do let us know in the comments what players you would like us to talk to, streamers or pros, about certain heroes that may be really good or really bad. Do let us know below, and let's get started with today's video. So we'll start with the usual introductions, your previous experience, with uh, Overwatch in general and why should people be playing Lucio and most importantly I guess the new iteration of Lucio because he has had some changes. Uh, I've been playing Lucio since probably season two. I climbed all the way from probably Masters to uh, top of 100 with him. I climbed from Plat to Masters with D.Va. Um, but you should be playing the new Lucio because he feels really smooth. He's really good in this meta, although not every day or not every time is he good in this meta. Um, but he's really strong, he's really smooth right now, and he can contribute a lot to your team. I think that's one of the, the sort of main areas that I want to highlight first is the changes that were on the PTR that are now on live with his war riding being made a little bit easier. It kind of upset a lot of people saying that it took the skill out of that aspect of his kit. Like, do you agree? Do you think it's a positive change? And realistically, how much of an impact has it made from your like day-to-day -day Lucioing, I suppose? Um, well, it's been a little bit of a change. I don't, I warm up sometimes. I don't warm up often, um, but it's made warm up a little bit, I suppose faster, but it's a little frustrating that it's easier for me. I like the challenge personally. I thought that was kind of fun, but I can also see why lots of people love that it's easier. It was, cha it was challenging, you know? I personally don't think a change to Lucio that makes him easier to play for the overall community is a bad thing. I would, however, like the option, you know, Blizzard, if, if you're watching this, uh, to um, to try and change that so I can have at least the ability to toggle it so I don't have to go around corners. I don't. I personally don't like that. I, I really don't use it. But I think that if I had the ability to toggle it, I think that would make it better. How come you don't like it just because it's, you know, just something that you don't really use or have much use for? Um, so occasionally when I will go for, when I'll go wall hopping, you know, wall to wall, Mm -hmm. Sometimes if there's a corner, like a, a rounded corner, that it, that it would let me wall ride around, sometimes it'll put me in that direction, and that feels clunky. And it, it, yeah, I mean, I suppose I could just hold it, but I'm trying to just skim the wall rather than you know hold the wall, and it 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 makes you like go in the direction as if you're trying to just hold it. This was a change that seemed to, like, is there a problem with Lucio? Because he's played a lot in the highest tiers, like in the pro scene. Uh, people do enjoy playing him, sure, but I guess for somebody that likes to pick up Lucio now and again, I often question how much impact I'm making. So, like, are there any current flaws with Lucio that either these changes have kind of helped with, or you feel should be addressed in the future? So, as far as these changes have helped with, it really doesn't help with much. Um, for, like, really... Wall ride, his wall ride was fine before. It helps people, I guess, get up to speed easier. Maybe, you know, be better at, at wall riding overall, and maybe that'll make him easy. That's just obviously going to make him easier to play overall. So I guess that helps all of his abilities. But as far as, like, that goes, that, that's kind of a given. You know, you see some heroes that have issues within the game that could do addressing. Was it do something? And you go, yeah, that's cool, but that's not his problem, right? He needs... Like, what does Lucio need currently to be more of an enticing pick um, in just general ranked, I feel? Over the course of Lucio's life, they've nerfed his healing output dramatically. And as far as I know, I'm pretty sure when they made his healing aura circle smaller, I believe they buffed it a little bit. But I do feel as though healing aura should have a slight buff. Not nothing too drastic, but I feel as though if you can... And especially in a triple support meta, if you can bring his, his healing output up a lot, or a little bit rather, um, you know, it, it'll make a big difference, I think. Right. You mentioned triple support then. I think it's quite an interesting thing. Brigitte is obviously being added into the game. How is Lucio sort of a part of that? Because mostly we've seen like Mercy and Senya out for the damage boost and the Discord or, but where is Lucio quite good in that lineup with Brigitte? Like, where have you found effective use? in this new version of the meta, because it's like you said before, like Lucio's in a good spot, but the meta's made it so he's not as good as he was before. 
like I said, Lucio is in an okay spot. It's weird. He is relevant sometimes, and then sometimes he's just do not pick him. Um, is that map dependent or more team dependent? I believe that's more team dependent. You know, this meta is so weird in, in that sense where we're bringing back triple tank, bringing triple support back, we're bringing, uh, you know, and, and people are still running dive and all this, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What I've noticed Lucio works really well with is tanks that are slow, so like Reinhardt, Zarya, um, but, and, and it goes against dive though, because if you do Diva Winston and you have Brigetta, we'll say Mercy, Lucio's not really a great pick there because those are already relatively mobile heroes. They can, they can jump in. Whereas Ryan and, Z and Zarya, they gotta, they need the speed essentially to engage, and it helps them quite a bit. You've obviously played this hero from a sort of just just higher than average rating of platinum all the way to top 500. What did you like learn along the way? Because as I said, I feel that people can understand Lucio fairly straightforward to pick up, but a lot of the time it's kind of like I don't know what I should be doing as Lucio here. Should I be over here? Should I be trying to do this? Like. What is your win condition, first of all, for playing Lucio? What is it that you're trying to do on a team? As Lucio, the thing you should be trying to do is if you can't, if you're not making a big impact on healing the rest of your team, okay, which you should be, you should be able to heal a good chunk of damage that they're taking from the enemies. If you, if you can't do that, at least do your best to keep your other healer alive. You know, peel for them. That's the that's the main thing I, I see Lucio's fail at, is they don't peel for their support. And I'm bad at this, but I can do it sometimes. And when you do it successfully, chances are you're gonna win the game. Because if you keep them alive, they can keep your team alive. It's a snowball effect. I was gonna say, like, this is another thing too. It's just the kind of mistakes that you see of a Lucio's play. Like, other than just failing to peel, is there any other stuff that you see? So, the, another one that I, I that I notice a lot is um, so when you're amping heals, in my opinion, you should be calling out when you're amping heals. That tells your team two things: one, my teammate is healing, that means they're doing something. Two, that tells them if I need heals, I need to get close to this person. They can see your aura on the ground. They can walk into it. It is your responsibility to get close to them when you're amping heals. But sometimes not all teams are sticking together. Sometimes you need to heal multiple people. That's the great thing about Lucio. You can do that. You just need to, you know, you just need your teammate to corrupt uh, your teammates to cooperate with you, and so they can get close to you, heal up, and then you can attack. And then you can attack. Uh, one thing I will say is we've we've spoken about Brigitte and triple supports. Um, I asked Mendo this question as well. People are really scared that this is going to become like the way to play. Like how necessary is it almost to play triple support like at a top 500 levels are all the games with top, like triple supports or just some of them do you feel that people are getting you know scared over nothing like they did with quad tanks with moira where do you sort of feel that the support meta is going to go right now because it's in a probably the most interesting spot it's ever been um well as much as i like to run triple support um it's not fun and I mean, it might be fun for me as a support player. That means I'm always guaranteed a slot. Um, but the main thing that I've noticed is I, I know a lot of DPS players within within GM and Top 500, and all of them, their top three heroes are all supports this season. And maybe like two of them I know are like off tanks at this point. And it's it, it's got to be frustrating for them. I it you know I would hate to not have to not be able to play Lucio for you know, a whole season that happened with Mercy, with Mercy meta. Um, but unfortunately, that's the meta right now. Do I think it's going to stick around? Probably not that long, no. I don't think it's going to stick around any longer than uh, Mercy did with the whole Mercy meta. What would be required to change, do you feel? Like, would it be a nerf? Because it seems to me that lots of people are talking about triple support and whilst we are seeing it in show matches and tournaments, it hasn't quite translated over to competitive just yet. But that might be because people do not want to play it more than anything. You don't want to end up in the same situation as Mercy Meta, where if the enemy team has a Mercy and you don't, you're at a severe disadvantage. Nobody wants that with triple supports, right? Uh, yeah, and, and I feel the same, the exact same way. If you do not have a Brigetta in this meta, then you have like a 90% chance of losing. Um, especially if you're running double support. If you're running triple support without a Brigetta, you have overall better healing, but less tankiness and less overall damage. So it's, 
it's kind of shooting yourself in the foot. If we were to put together like a support pecking order of which supports are best and which are worst, like how would you sort of put it? Getting rid of Symmetra because obviously she's going to be a defense hero at some point. I imagine Brigitte would be right at the top, but where would Lucia be in comparison to everybody else? Okay, so Brigitte, right at the top in my opinion. I think a lot of people agree with that. She's really strong right now. She's got a lot of uh, really good abilities, probably two strong abilities, but anyway. I'd say right behind that would be Mercy. She's great. She's got great overall healing output. She's able to, she's got decent movement. She's able to like Guardian Angel to people. It's great. She's got great damage boost for, you know, your Junkrat or your Widow, your Hanzo, whatever you're running in this meta, this crazy meta. Um, from there, I would say Zenyatta is probably the third best. Again, uh, Discord Orb makes a huge difference. The ability to heal people from longer ranges with Healing Orb, and also the fact that he's got really good damage output himself, it should, and plus, Dive's not really a thing at the current moment. Some people are running it, but I wouldn't say it's working too well for them. So, Zen's in a good spot. I would say right behind Zen would be Lucio. Luci again, Lucio's in a weird spot in this meta. Um, sometimes he's good, sometimes he's bad. Really, you kind of just have to play and play some games and feel out where he's working and where he's not, and apply that to your own matches. This is, I guess, one of the interesting things that why Lucio's taken a fall too, that Brigitte, when she's activating her passive, when she's actually hitting stuff and healing people around her, does the same amount of healing as Lucio. So, is there an element of, like, Brigitte kind of steps on Lucio's toes considering she does AoE healing and so does he, but she can also do spot healing by using armor packs and stuff. <coughs> is that a bit so, of a problem for Lucio? I would say that's a little bit of a problem, but at the same time, healing also stacks, so if you're running a Brigitte, that's fine. You know, it, it works out. However, Lucio does not play well against Brigitte. And that's simply because Brigitte, close range where you'd probably be fighting her, um, she'll just shield bash you, and then she's just gonna whack you, and then you're gonna die. And it's just not fun. <laughs> it feels that Lucio is like the ground has fallen out beneath him, even though he's had changes and straight up buffs that were on the PTR that went to live, like with his secondary fire no longer using ammo. Is that concerning? Is that worrying? Or do you feel that it's just kind of how the game should be? That Lucio should only be good in certain cases and not in others? Um, so when the quote-unquote buffs were coming out, um, I was questioning to myself why we were getting these. And I think Blizzard knew what was going to happen to Lucio with this upcoming meta. I'm pretty sure they were aware. They were like, okay, we need to do something so he's not completely irrelevant anymore. So, as far as that goes, I think he'll be okay in the long run because I know that, so when that armor change goes through, they'll be like, yeah, no, don't play her, she's bad. And that's that's what I think is gonna happen. I think we're gonna see more Lucy gameplay. I think he'll be fine. Um, but I'm kind of worried at the same time for Brigitte because she's a new hero. I don't want her to become irrelevant. Um, so I guess just any final things that you want to iterate on, anything that you want to sort of finally say to people that maybe are now taking the opportunity to play more Lucio and enjoy the new changes, like, what final things do you just really want to emphasize or iterate on? Keep playing Lucio. It may be rough right now, but there may come a time where they buff him again and make him really strong, and when that time happens, you'll be ready to go, you'll be ready to climb. So, just keep playing him, keep having fun, and... Keep loving Overwatch, because the game needs it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and finally, where can people find more Lucio gameplay from yourself? And any just final shout-outs or plugs that you want to make? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Ramy. I stream Thursday to Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'd like to give shout-outs to some of the other Lucio players I know. I, I don't want to forget any, so I'm going to just go off the top of my head. I want to say shout-out to SK, uh, his Twitch is twitch.tv slash skplays. Uh, Funny Astro, he's an amazing player. He plays for British Hurricane, I believe. Uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you he's can find him. He's been on the channel him. before, yeah. Yeah, and you can find him, I believe, at twitch.tv slash Funny Astro. Uh, I'll have to check that. But I, I believe that's right. And that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. As I said at the start of the video, you can check out all of Remy's details in the description. Do give them a follow and all of that jazz. And thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. <laughs>